picture it. It's 44 BC in Rome. You're the most powerful man in the world, AKA Julius Caesar, when all of a sudden you're warned to beware of the Ides of March. Where does that leave you? Well, according to William Shakespeare, what happens shortly after is the fall of Caesar at the hands of some of his most trusted advisors. Oops. While Caesar didn't survive the attack, one thing has a salad that bears his name. <laughs> to honor him and the Ides of March, we're here to show you how you can create your own vegetarian friendly version of the Caesar salad. In other words, no anchovies. This is your idea. This isn't is it? my idea. Okay. Yes, beware the Ides okay. of March. Right. I live all for right. this. You know this. Okay. <laughs> First of all, to start with, no anchovies? Well, yeah, I don't Come like on. anchovies. Okay. How about. We cheers to Caesar with a little Italian red wine. Okay. Let me pour you right. some wine first. Red my, for maybe the uh, the to blood represent. of Caesar. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You know the last words that he said were. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay. Too soon. Okay. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Cheers to the Ides of March. To the Ides of March. There we go. Okay. okay. So now we've got our red wine. Hmm. It's time to make a really fun Caesar salad. Are you ready for this? We'll take a stab at it. Take a stab at it. Well, Someone's all are. jokes. Okay. So, first, we need some mayonnaise. You know, and <laughs> while while I'm getting some of these ingredients in, would you mind um, getting our garlic nice and chopped? No, it's I think two the, cloves of garlic. Okay. I think that the garlic is appropriate, but Miracle Whip is that is that a thing? I. It was what was in my fridge, no, Jeff Gould. No, right. You're just here. And I think the Caesar salad is only like about 100 years old, right? We're not going way back to antiquity. Am I right about that? I, I, have, I really don't know a lot about the Caesar salad, to be honest. This is actually going to be the first time I've ever had one. So you I'm don't like it. I to go to at a restaurant I, it, for me. You know, I think it's great, but usually there's anchovies in it, so I don't usually do it. Okay. Um, okay, so I have a third I of a cup of... I have never seen it at a restaurant with anchovies, ever. This dressing always has anchovies in it. Oh, well, okay. Okay, now I need two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I don't know about you, but I love Dijon mustard. I, I'm on it, yeah. Yeah, okay. I might even add a little extra. I gotta open it. Oh, so, um, okay, well, what do you know about... I don't know a lot about Caesar salad, but what do you know about the okay. Ides of March? And the fall of Caesar. Well, I do know that the 15th is always the Ides. Mm -hmm. And I think that, like, of course, every month then has 15 in it. But there's only, like, I don't know, like seasons of the year. Not every month is, is an Ides or something like that. Does that sound familiar to you? I, I did a Google search about 10 years ago I kind of thought there was an Ides in every month, but you probably are right. Um, okay, there's my Dijon mustard. Okay. Now I'll have add those garlic cloves when you're done. And I need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, I have ahead. no idea why this is named after Caesar either. Yeah, so. Honestly, but. Um, I'm going to dump this yeah. in? I think it's a guy who ran a bar whose name was Caesar. <laughs> I think that's right. Uh, check that. You um, know, um, but he was apparently a little big for his britches. Mm -hmm. And there was, there's, there's a few different thoughts about why he was um, assassinated, but he was not really treating his, I think, trusted advisors very well. He's a good looking guy, judging from his portrait back here. Apparently, one of the things they didn't like about him was that he made a, a rule that he could wear knee-high red boots. I'm unsure why that was such a problem. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do, do the Worcestershire sauce. How do you He's say that? Worcestershire. A little bit, Worcestershire. Yeah. Worcestershire? I would say that. Worcestershire, and but Worcestershire. nobody, says it, nobody okay. says it that way. Well, I have the Annie's brand because Worc Worcestershire, mm -hmm. whatever, has anchovies in it, too. So if you're trying to do this anchovy oh, list, oh. then that's what you got to do. So this technically you can't have because you don't eat to meat. I don't eat anchovies, but this is this is anchovy-free Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire. Oh. Shire, shire, shire. Okay. Okay. There All we right. go. Now I need some, I'll, um, so I'm going to do a little bit of oil and some pepper. This is almost done. Okay. What do you think? How's your mind? Uh, it needs to be mixed better, a lot better. Here you go. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bit of the oil. Actually, let's see, which one? <laughs> this one. Okay, so I have an extra special treat for you today, too. I'm on TV, so I'm tilting the bowl. Oh, nice. okay, there fancy, you go. fancy. Okay. okay. I'm gonna do child. Like okay, yes. A little okay. bit of olive oil, too. Okay, now mix that thing up. Mix it together. Mix it together. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and you know he was stabbed like 23 times. And they counted. And Yikes. um apparently the coroner of the time said that it was the <laughs> second stab wound into his aorta that killed him and the rest were not fatal. 
Oh, okay. But they didn't want to have just one person assassinate him because they didn't think it would look like an uprising. Oh, enough. so everybody so they recruited, got the, right, right. They say like 60 to 80 people. And 23 actually did it then. Well, the 23 stabbing, I guess. I don't know. Maybe somebody missed. Somebody people might have missed. Okay. Is but that where the word of the the website 23 and Me? Is that where that comes from? I do not think so. Right, no. I okay. So. Now, guess what's going to be fun about this? Okay. So I got these swords. <laughs> okay. So I have swords. Of course swords, you did. Of course you and did. And we have lettuce. Okay. And we're going to make little Caesar salad sword kebabs. Oh. Or, you know, sword. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. What do you think? And you just put a little Parmesan with it. Right. And you put your your, rom your romaine lettuce on it. Okay. And then you and then, you toast a two brute yeah. and then down the hatch. Right? Here, you make one too. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. And then I'm gonna just drizzle a little of the okay. dressing over it. Okay. You could probably drizzle a little bit better, but no, it's probably a lot of dressing. Okay. What do you think about this? This is a fun way to have an Ides of March party, <laughs> don't you think? I think it depends how much wine you have with it. We well, got, no, that's why you, I brought you, you wine. Did you put some of the cheese on it then, too? Yeah, yeah, you got to put some of these, cheese, these cheeses on, on it. it. So you're, you're a fan of Caesar salad, right? I, I do like it. Okay. And so then you put an ancho if you wanted to. If you to, wanted right? to, you right. could add the ancho. Am I, did you drizzle it yeah, on it? Yeah, I just kind of did a little drizzle on mine. I guess you could just swirl it in if you wanted to. Okay. Okay. Do you want to be Caesar or do you want to be Brutus? <laughs> oh, what, one of us could be Brutus and one of us could be Cassius, right? Is that the other guy that was in on it? Okay, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Eat to Brute. Oh. <laughs> if I had a ketchup packet, that'd be awesome right now, right? That would be really. <laughs> that would be awesome. What do you think? It's really good. It is good. It is good. And it's a fun idea for us. Who doesn't a, like Caesar salad? You get a little history lesson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little Shakespeare. Well, I'm going to keep making these. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Cheers to the eyes of March. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs>